So, in a few days, I'm finally going to be making the move to Scotland for my Masters in Classical and Contemporary Text Acting. It's really exciting, and for the past few months I've had a few people come up to me asking me to keep them up to date with what's happening in the program and what I'm learning and stuff like that, so I figured what I would do is start up my vlog channel that I used to have again and use that as a sort of mass um, way, uh, mass information sharing scheme get people to know what I'm up to and anyone who's interested can just watch these videos and then they can talk to me about what I said in them <laughs> instead of me messaging 50 people individually each wanting to, wanting to know what I have been learning so yeah, so I... Oh, get off. I've got a bug on me. So yeah, so that's the plan. I'm currently at home in Belleville, uh, spending my last few days with the family. And then on Monday, I fly off to Scotland. And on Tuesday, I land at like six in the morning or something like that in Scotland time, British time. So that's what's happening right now. And today has been an interesting day. Uh, I've spent, just changing arms, um, I've spent most of the day figuring out what to do about the place that I'm living in because that's been hectic. Uh, it's finally sorted out now, but I was dealing with the letting agency that rents the property to me and the whole time has just been a bit of a nightmare because they kept saying that they needed certain documents. Then other people told me that I didn't need to give those documents, that they had them already. And then I got contacted again, saying, no, we actually do need those documents uh, right away, so get them to us. Uh, and then we've been told just wrong things. Uh, documents that were supposed to be sent to us weren't sent to us. And there are a few times where I'm pretty sure I've just been straight up lied to by the people I was dealing with. Maybe because I just didn't want to get in trouble. And all of this was happening while my soon-to-be flatmate, Patrick, was in Glasgow without a place to stay, just standing outside of the uh, office building waiting for me to finish getting all my documents in that apparently I still needed to so that he could go in and get the keys and have a place to actually live. <laughs> so it was a stressful day. Uh, probably more stressful for him being homeless for the first few hours. Uh, but it's all sorted now. There's like a couple more things I have to send off, but uh, enough has been done that I can get the keys once I land in Scotland. So that's good at least. <sighs> It's been, it's been a lot to deal with today and now the only thing left to do really is wait and eventually fly to Glasgow to start my masters. It still sounds weird to say all that, like I can't quite believe that's what's happening. Probably because I've been waiting since May. May is when I got the official guaranteed acceptance saying you're in. We want you to come here, just tell us that you want to as well and pay us all this money and then you can join us. So I've paid some of the money at least, but it's just been a lot of waiting so it's been a lot of sort of dead zones where nothing's been happening and I just had to wait for other people to get back to me and that it was hard to feel like anything that, happening, that was happening was real because it was just so far off and now with the flight happening this Monday, just a couple of days, it's hard to process because suddenly it's becoming very real very quickly. I'm not too sure what to say at the moment because just no, nothing's left. I just have to wait and fly and, well, I have to pack as well, but I'll do that Sunday probably. Day before, the day of. This will probably become more interesting as the year goes on and I actually have things to talk about for my program. Currently, um, I've started actually reading 
a few things that they have sent to us saying that we needed to start on them. There's uh, Different Every Night by My Mike Alfreds and the Complete Stanislavski Toolkit by Bella Martin, I believe. I've only started Different Every Night, but it's actually really interesting. Um, I'm not that far yet, but it's basically this guy who's had a long theatre career as a director and actor, actor and theatre creator and all these different things, giving his two cents about theatre and acting. Oh, someone's barking. Don't know if you can hear that or not. Um, but yeah, he's talking about directing and his personal theory as to the value of the actor and uh, how he feels it's important for the actor to have a lot of say in their process and to not just be told what to do but to actually have a creative input onto the final product of the show and it's a lot of interesting stuff a lot of quite a few things are actually quite different from many of the shows I've been involved with over the past few years and it's a nice change to actually read a school book that I enjoy <laughs> and find interesting and be like, yeah, this is something I want to keep learning about. So that's a good sign. I haven't started the Stanislavski toolkit yet. Probably should. And I also have to buy a collection of plays by Anton Chekhov, which I haven't done yet because I actually can't find the copy that they want me to get. Something else. Oh, they also want me to study up on Jacques Lecoq, if that's how you say his name famous French clown actor, I believe. So I got to do that still as well. So there's some things for me to do at least, but I still have time before school starts. So I'll get there eventually. <laughs> oh, um, another thing that happened is I finally got an email two days ago, I think, from the school giving me all the breakdowns of what's going to be happening for the first few weeks of school and things to prepare for. And one of them is that they want us to perform a monologue to the rest of our class. They want us to start practicing and preparing that. Which, I mean, it's fine in the end, but it's also a little intimidating because it's a class of like 20 something people, all of which have had you know, some form of theatre career uh, in some way, shape or form. And part of me is convinced that I'm in there by accident, <laughs> that something went wrong. I'm still waiting for the email or phone call saying, actually, we sent you the acceptance by mistake. It was meant to go to someone else. You can't come after all. Uh, and we're not going to refund your money. <laughs> I'll get over it. It's just a little nerve-wracking to know that like, oh, here's a bunch of people who got into this program because they're amazing actors and I got to do things in front of them and get judged by them. And I guess the counter-argument is that I got in too, but then again, I only got in by the skin of my teeth, which was classic as far as most things in my life that I get into. <laughs> but yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. A few days away, got a pack at home, uh, slightly terrified for what's to come, but excited, and that's what's important. If you're interested in these videos, you know, uh, there'll be more of them eventually. I'll probably try to make one for when I land and give you another update, maybe a tour of my place. I don't know, just we'll see what happens. And this is much longer than I expected it to be. Thank you to everyone who's been so encouraging over the past few months as well. For those of you who have reached out to me and said that you would like to know how things are going and you'd like to know what I'm up to, thank you so much for that. It means a lot that you're interested in hearing those things. And thank you to everyone who's been so kind with the congratulations and asking me how I'm feeling and everything. It's been very sweet of everyone. So uh, thank you to all of you who have been so supportive over the years as well. And hopefully this gets more interesting the more I make. Goodbye.